layoffs, layoffs, layoffs. Hey guys, thanks for joining. I wanted to talk about what's going on in the game industry. And I'm not talking about what games are coming out or what new tools are coming out, but instead what's going on with the people in the industry. This year, we're only three weeks into 2024 and there have been a massive number of layoffs. Now I understand that in 2020 when COVID hit, a lot of companies ramped up the sizes of their delivery team. They hired more people than were needed for current projects, which put games way over budget. They weren't as profitable. But those dollar signs that companies were seeing are actual people. And these people are losing their jobs on an almost daily basis. And it's not just game development companies, but the tool makers themselves too. Unity just had a layoff. Late last year, Unreal had layoff. I really think that companies should take a step back and look at what the problem is. If it's really a headcount problem where they are spending more on employees than what their products are making, similar to what financial advisors recommend in our retirement portfolios is to diversify. Instead of just focusing on one product a year, if you have the available headcount, something that I as an indie developer don't have the luxury of having, diversify what they work on. It could be another tool. It could be another framework. It could be another game. It could be innovation and research. But these are people that don't deserve to lose their jobs at especially such a high number. When I look at the revenue that some indie developers make, double A developers make, and triple A developers make, it is outrageous that they can't afford the salaries of employees when they're making multi million dollars in revenue year after year after year. Where is that money going? So as I mentioned, the luxury of having too many people helping isn't a issue I currently have. In fact, it's the opposite. Is As a solo indie developer, I often need more help and more input than what I lead on. Making a game is a tremendous amount of work, whether it be sound, graphics, programming, gameplay, UI, marketing, etc., etc. All of it begins taking a toll, and it it is a large amount of work. You know, we've been working on Spookville for about 12 months now. Well, we're soon to be in our 13th month of development. And I'm just now getting around to getting a playable demo and the Steam page launch. That's a long time to wait, but I am so happy that we've invested that time. But help would be nice sometimes. So I am still continuing to pursue investments and, and a publisher. Because what, what I really want is for this game to really take off and, and have my own studio. And every view, every like, and every subscriber that happens on my YouTube channel when they're watching our progress updates has been super motivational for me. All of your input and tweets on Twitter about feedback on the screenshots or videos I've been posting, all of that I've been taking into account, making my little famous post-it notes, and putting it on the backlog for future work. But just remember that we're all human and we all deserve a fair shot, a fair chance to succeed in life and in our careers. So support each other, retweet those tweets, like a video that you watch on YouTube, and stay positive. Thanks all for watching. Remember to hit like and subscribe because I can't wait to get this beard off and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.